China has just pulled off a technological feat that's turning heads around the globe, achieving full real-time satellite data reception across its entire national territory and 70% of Asia's land area. This isn't just another headline. It's a monumental leap that could redefine disaster management, environmental monitoring, and national security. How did China build this extensive satellite network, and why is it such a big deal? In this video, we'll uncover the evolution of China's satellite ground stations, explore the transformative power of real-time data, and discuss the far-reaching implications of this achievement. Before 1986, China's scientists and researchers faced a significant hurdle in their pursuit of technological advancement, a heavy reliance on foreign satellite data. Specifically, they had to purchase remote sensing satellite data from countries like the United States, often at steep prices. Recognizing these challenges, China took a decisive step to break free from external reliance. The goal was clear develop indigenous capabilities to receive and process satellite data independently. This move was not just about cost saving, though reducing expenses was a significant benefit. More importantly, it was about securing the nation's ability to manage its own resources and respond to emergencies without external interference. In 1986, China established its first satellite ground station in Miyun District, Beijing. This installation was more than just a technological advancement, it was a bold statement of intent and a milestone in China's journey towards self-sufficiency in space technology. The Miyun station enabled the direct reception of satellite data, allowing scientists and government agencies to access critical information without delay. The success of the Miyun ground station laid the groundwork for future expansion. It demonstrated that China had the technical expertise to build and operate sophisticated ground-based space infrastructure. This achievement proved that self-reliance in satellite technology was not only possible but also beneficial for the nation's strategic interests. Building on the success of Miyun, China strategically expanded its satellite ground stations to key locations across the nation. Stations were established in Kashgar Xinjiang, Sanya Hainan, and Mohai Longjiang, each chosen for their geographical advantages. Kashgar covers the western regions, providing surveillance over vast inland areas. Sanya oversees the southern maritime zones, crucial for monitoring sea lanes and coastal activities. Mohe monitors the northern frontiers, extending coverage to the farthest reaches of China's territory. The most recent and significant addition to this network is the high-altitude ground station in Yulong Naxi Autonomous County, Lijiang, Yunnan Province. Operational since September, this station is situated at an elevation of 2,827 meters and fills the last gap in nationwide coverage. The Lijiang station extends China's real-time satellite data reception capabilities, ensuring that the entire national territory and over 70% of Asia's land area are now under its surveillance network. By integrating the Lijiang station into its network, China has achieved a comprehensive satellite ground station system that covers all four cardinal directions. The network now forms a robust infrastructure capable of supporting various applications, from disaster monitoring to environmental research. Real-time data isn't just a technological luxury, it's a critical necessity in our rapidly changing world. Immediate access to satellite information allows for swift decision-making, which can be the difference between containment and catastrophe in emergencies. When data is received without delay, it empowers authorities to act promptly and effectively. This immediacy eliminates the lag between data collection and action, ensuring that responses are based on the most current information available. In sectors where every second counts, such as disaster response or military operations, real-time data is invaluable. One of the most significant benefits of China's real-time satellite data reception is its impact on disaster management. For instance, when a forest fire ignites, satellites can detect it almost instantly. With real-time data transmission, this information reaches firefighting units without delay, allowing for immediate deployment of resources to contain the blaze before it spreads. In the case of earthquakes, satellites can quickly assess damage to infrastructure, helping rescue teams prioritize areas that need immediate attention. Oil spills, which pose severe environmental threats, can be monitored in real time to coordinate cleanup efforts and minimize ecological damage. 
environmental monitoring also gets a substantial boost. Continuous data reception enables tracking of deforestation, pollution levels, and changes in water bodies. This information is crucial for implementing environmental policies and conservation efforts, ensuring that interventions are timely and effective. Beyond emergency responses, real-time satellite data has a wide array of applications that contribute to national development. In resource exploration, it helps identify mineral deposits and monitor mining activities, aiding in sustainable resource management. Urban planners utilize satellite imagery to map out city expansions, infrastructure projects, and traffic patterns, facilitating smarter and more efficient urban development. In agriculture, farmers benefit from up-to-date information on weather patterns and crop conditions, allowing for optimized planting and harvesting schedules. Additionally, real-time data supports space research by providing accurate tracking of celestial events and space weather, contributing to global scientific endeavors. Achieving full control over satellite ground station technology means China now holds complete intellectual property rights in this domain. This independence fosters an environment ripe for innovation, as researchers and engineers can develop and modify technologies without external restrictions. It encourages homegrown solutions tailored to China's specific needs and challenges. Owning the technology outright also reduces costs associated with licensing and purchasing from foreign entities. These savings can be redirected into further research and development, fueling a cycle of innovation and technological advancement. Technological independence significantly strengthens national security. With full control over satellite data reception, China eliminates the risks associated with relying on foreign data sources, such as potential data denial or manipulation. This autonomy ensures that sensitive information remains within national borders and is safeguarded against external threats. Moreover, an independent satellite network enhances strategic capabilities, providing the military and government agencies with reliable intelligence and reconnaissance data. It reinforces sovereignty by demonstrating self-reliance in critical technological infrastructure, bolstering China's position on the global stage. China's advancements don't just benefit the nation internally, they have the potential to contribute significantly to global technological progress. With a robust satellite network, China can engage in international collaborations, sharing data that could aid in global environmental monitoring, disaster response, and scientific research. The country's experience in building and managing such an extensive network could serve as a model for other nations looking to develop their own capabilities. By participating in global initiatives and possibly offering satellite data services to other countries, China positions itself as a key player in international efforts to address worldwide challenges. Looking ahead, the infrastructure and expertise developed through this endeavor set the stage for future innovations in satellite technology, such as higher resolution imaging and advanced data analytics. These advancements could further enhance various applications, from precision agriculture to climate change studies, both domestically and internationally. In this video, we have learned about China's remarkable achievement in establishing full real-time satellite data reception across its entire territory and much of Asia. We've explored how China built its extensive network of ground stations, the transformative power of immediate data access, and the profound implications of achieving technological independence. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.